Okay, Algebra 2. Let's go ahead and do one more here. Um, let's do one that's a little more involved. Okay. Uh, just for clarification, that is an A cubed right there. All right. Um, okay, so let's just go through this again. Okay, what, what is the, what, what's our game plan? Uh, the game plan is we need to figure out what the least common denominator is so that we can multiply every term by that least common denominator, thereby clearing the entire equation of all the fractions, thereby making it much more simple to solve the equation. Okay, so we need to factor out anything that can be factored in the denominators here so we can figure out what our least common denominator is going to be, okay? So um, nothing over here can be factored out. But, but look right here. So a cubed plus 5a squared plus 6a. All right, so this can be factored out. I can factor out an a from, every, from, from all of that. So that would give me uh, a squared plus 5a plus 6. All right, and then notice that this can be factored out even further. Don't forget about your a here. You've already factored out. So that comes down, and that's going to be a and a. All right, so we know our last sign is positive. It means my, it means my sign... My signs and my binomials are going to be the same, and then the middle sign is positive, means they're both going to be positive. And this one's pretty straightforward. So factors of 6, that'll... Okay, so I think it's 2 and 3. Should be. And then this can be factored out as well. So uh, I can factor out an A, and it's going to be times A plus 3. Okay, so... We need to compare our denominators. We have a plus 3, we have a times the quantity of a plus 2 times the quantity of a plus 3, and then we have a times the quantity of a plus 3 over here, right? Okay, so it's kind of like, let me, let me get another sheet of paper here. It's kind of like if I had, okay, let's just say uh, 4 sixths plus uh, 1 half plus uh, 5 twelfths. And I wanted to add those together. And I, and I said, okay, class, I want you to find the least common denominator here. Okay. So I think you just, just by looking at it, you would, you would automatically know that it's going to be 12. Why? Why do you know it's 12? Well, I can't take anything, t I can't take 12 times any, multiply it by something to give me 2. I can't take 12 times, times something to give me 6, but I can take 6 times 2 to give me 12. I can take 2 times 6 to give me 12. So therefore, 12 is going to be my, my least common denominator. Same, same principle applies here. Okay? So I can't take all of this and multiply it by something, by something to give me this, and I can't take all of this and multiply it by anything to give me this, but I can take this and multiply it by the quantity of a plus 2 to give me that. I can take this right here, a plus 2, and multiply it by a times the quantity of a plus 2 to give me all of this. So this is kind of like, so if we compare here, right, it's kind of like this right here is kind of like the 12. The other denominators can be multiplied by something to give us 12, but 12 can't be multiplied by anything to give us the other denominators. Therefore, it becomes the least common denominator. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. All right, so now, now the, the whole purpose of us figuring out what the least common denominator is is so that we can multiply every term by that. All right, so I'm going to take uh, 2 over a plus 3 minus, okay, a squared plus 3a minus 10 over, I'm going to keep this in factored form, so a times a plus 2 times a plus 3. All right. And then equals a minus 4 over a times a plus 3. All right, be careful with your signs here, okay? Signs, if you get one sign, it can just mess your whole thing up. So make sure you're keeping your signs 
All right, now we're gonna multiply every term by our least common denominator, right? So what's that gonna look like? Our least common denominator is a times, oops, a plus two. Okay, so when I multiply this term by all of that, what ends up happening? Well, the a plus threes cancel out. Okay, what happens when I multiply all of this times this right here? Okay, so just imagine, just for sake of time, I'm not going to do it, but imagine that I, re I rewrote this entire denominator right here, right there. Okay, what would happen is this entire thing would cancel out. Would cancel out with that, right? And then if I if I take this and multiply it by our least common denominator, all right? So that's a times a plus two times a plus three. Okay, notice that this a cancels with that, and then this a plus three cancels with that, and we're left. Okay, now so the next step we need to do is we need to we need to go back and see what's left over. So we've got 2 times a times a plus 2. That gives us 2a times a plus 2. Okay? Now, this we got to deal with this negative sign here because it's going to change the sign of every term in this trinomial. So it's going to become negative a squared. All right? negative a squared, this is going to become negative 3a, and this is going to become positive 10, okay, equals, and this is going to be, we have a plus 2 times a minus 4, so a plus 2 times a minus 4, all right, okay, well, we're getting closer to the solution here, right, so we need to, the next step is we need to remove the parentheses, Remove the parentheses by distri by distribution. So this gives me 2a squared plus 4a minus a squared minus 3a plus 10 equals, okay, do we need to, need to foil this out? So that gives me a squared minus 4a plus 2a minus 8. Okay, we're getting closer, so we've dealt with our parentheses. Let's keep working it down here. Um, now we need to combine our like terms, right? So 2a squared minus a squared gives me a squared. Dealt with those. Okay, 4a minus 3a leaves me with 1a. 4a minus 3a, 1a. And then I have this 10 equals, okay, now... Uh, we've got a squared, all right, negative 4a plus 2a is negative 2a, and then minus 8. All right, now we're getting, we're getting even closer here, right? So if I, now we want to transpose our terms. We want to, we want to get, uh, bring anything that has an a to one side of the equation and everything else to the other side. All right, so if I, if I subtract a squared here and I subtract a squared here, then they cancel out. They actually all cancel out. That leaves me with a plus 10 equals negative 2a minus 8. Oops. Okay. We're going to go ahead and bring our... Oops, sorry, it's a, it's a 2. Bring our... Add our 2a over here. Okay, that gives me... A plus 2A gives me 3A plus 10 equals negative 8. Okay, subtract 10 from both sides. And we get, I'm going to bring a new piece of paper here. So we get these cancel. So we get 3A equals negative 18 divided by 3, divide by 3. A equals negative 6. Okay. Um, if you need to, go back and watch this video one more time just to kind of wrap your mind around what we're doing. I, I encourage you to work it out step by step with the video. 
and that'll I think it'll really help you. Okay, so just wanted to throw this this other problem in here. I know this is one of the more involved ones. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, God bless.